Okay, thanks very much for having me today. Um, my name is Rob Jonas. I run Europe and Middle East for a company called InMobi. Uh, InMobi, as it says on the screen here, is the uh, largest independent mobile advertising network. Um, we started the business about four or five years ago now, actually in Southeast Asia. Um, and over the last four or five years, we've grown very, very quickly. And you can see some of the stats up on the screen now in terms of the size of our business. Um, our business is um, very straightforward. Um, we've been very successful in executing, picking up a whole bunch of awards. But what it really means is if you're a uh, mobile app developer or a mobile website publisher and you want to run advertising, we provide a very easy way to do that um, and obviously to monetize your applications and your websites. And of course, the other side of our business is if you're an advertiser or an agency looking to reach this fascinatingly quickly growing uh, market segment, then we provide a very, very easy way to do that. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about that today because that's not the main topic of why we're here. Um, what I'd like to talk a little bit about is um, obviously mobile commerce, um, some of the things we're seeing around the world and all the different markets that we're operating in, um, but also uh, more importantly because we have um, this huge network and a huge amount of um, inventory running through many, many countries around the world every day, we have a massive insight into what's happening um, in many parts of the world. And of course, we're also speaking to advertisers, agencies, app developers, um, and all sorts of folks who are engaged in the mobile ecosystem um, who are all desperate to understand how they can engage more with consumers and, uh, and move into the mobile commerce space. So just a few things very quickly um, about this region. And, and we are um, very heavily invested in this region. We just opened offices uh, in Dubai to, to capture what is a very rapidly growing market. Some stats have already been thrown out there, and, and we know this already, but this is a very mobile-centric marketplace. Um, you know, we're looking at over 100% mobile penetration. Um, and from the data that we're seeing, we're expecting at least a 30% growth in terms of mobile penetration over the next three or four years um, to more than 350 mobile, million mobile subscribers by 2016. If you look at our network in the Middle East, um, since uh, over the last 12 months, we've seen close to 400% growth in usage of mobile devices in our network in this region. Um, and the majority of that is being driven by smartphone usage. And on a pure network impression basis, in December alone, we saw 8 billion impressions running on our network in the Middle East region, which is huge. And that's up from about three in the, uh, in the previous quarter at the same time. At the same time, we've also seen a fundamental change in the way the market's structured. And this has been mentioned already. Um, this is a Symbian marketplace. This is a Nokia marketplace. But that's changing phenomenally quickly. Um, we're already seeing the uh, huge impact of Apple's operating system and also the Android operating system in this market, um, and that will continue to happen um, certainly over the next coming years. The, uh, there's a huge growth in the mobile marketplace. Um, smartphone penetration is driving huge increases in content consumption, and it's really changing the way that consumers are shopping. They're researching products differently, they're making purchases, and they're interacting with brands in a fundamentally different way. If you look at the US marketplace, for example, uh, apps on smartphones and tablets um, are starting to uh, become more effective for uh, driving transactions for certain key categories. Um, we see this in other markets around the world as well. And again, as I mentioned, our business is very strong in Southeast Asia. And even there, we're starting to see the impact of mobile commerce as a very, very important channel. In the US, consumers are asked how often they shop on their tablets. And 77% now are reporting they do this at least two to three times a month, um, with 50% now doing this once a day. And we see the same trend in Germany, the UK, and other markets across Europe. Um, for example, where mobile auction, retail, shopping are becoming some of the highest growth mobile categories, um, certainly on applications. We've also run our own research, and we found that um, whilst the majority of these transactions today are focused on digital goods and things which you can quickly and easily download to your mobile phone, it's changing very, very quickly, and it's just shifting towards uh, physical goods as well and other categories. Um, in 2011, we started to see the trend moving towards travel, dining, and movies, and some of the categories which Living Social, of course, support. Um, but we're also seeing um, a lot more mobile retail sites being accessed. If you if you, um, if you look at the way that uh, consumers are using their smartphones, they're using them in very, very different ways now. Um, we're starting to see that the smartphone is becoming very, very important as the accessory to mobile commerce. 
So we're seeing it as a decision-making point, product comparison, finding out uh, in-store uh, activities and other um, uh, uh, activities around making the transaction in-store as shown with the Amazon uh, example earlier on. Um, for example, again, in the US, consumers predominantly using their phones for in-store comparisons, coupons, alerts and apps, alerts on apps and deals as they come uh, into particular locations. Finally, um, and very briefly, how does mobile advertising impact this? Mobile advertising is a very important part, and this is something that we've focused on a lot, of course, at Imobi. Um, we understand that mobile advertising has a direct impact on how consumers interact with mobile uh, commerce propositions. And one of the most important areas around this is rich media and advertising. For example, in the UK, we run some research with um, the Internet Advertising Bureau, and we found that rich media advertising has a 25% more effective uh, impact in getting consumers to interact with mobile commerce propositions. And again, if you look at the UK market, which is one of the most evolved in Europe, you're seeing many, many major retailers and brands running very successful uh, mobile commerce propositions and using advertising to really, really drive this activity. Finally, as I think I'm running out of time, just some quick takeaways and then we can uh, move on to the final presentation of the panel. What we're seeing across our entire network, of course, is mobile usage is growing at a phenomenal rate, and I think there's many, many stats which prove that. Um, the research that we're running, the behavior we're seeing from our advertisers and our agencies working with us, is that there's a massive diversification in the, pro in the products that are being purchased by mobile. It's not just about digital goods anymore, it's about physical goods. Every single category in which you can make a transaction is now starting to become mobile enabled, and we see that trend continuing to grow. The evolution of business models on mobile devices, as we've seen this morning, is fundamentally changing. Whether it's a straightforward transaction on the device itself, or, or applications and accessories that help you uh, transact in a more effective way in a physical location, everything's fundamentally changing, and mobile is an absolutely critical brand touch point. And I guess the final point as well, and it's been mentioned several times this morning, with these mobile devices, there's no rules, there's no restrictions, creativity is absolutely key. We work with something like 20,000 app developers around the world, and a huge number of those are engaged in transactions. And there's really no rules about what they're doing. They're looking at how they can really, really challenge uh, accepted wisdoms on how to transact on the device. And we see that trend continuing into the future. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Rob.